In this experiment with the pith balls, we will use HV Genicon demonstrated in another video to demonstrate the electrostatic repulsion. The pith balls hang from the stand, which is made of conducting material, with a thin steel wire, which is also conducting. When electric charges are transferred to the stand, those charges are redistributed throughout the stand and the pith balls so that the whole assembly is at an equipotential. The pith balls are also coated with a conducting powder. The video will show shots from two angles. The second shot can be used to observe the device charging the stand. The pith balls are charged with a half turn of HP Geneca. You can see the pith balls getting near each other over time. It's because the sharp corners of the setup leaks the charge. I'll charge it again with another half turn. And the separation illustrates the electrostatic repulsion. Now I'm trying to maintain the highest possible voltage and the amount of charge on the pith balls. This is limited at some dynamic equilibrium where amount of charge generated equals the charge lost. So this demonstration was done with negative charges. We'll change the polarity in case there's a difference. Now the black lead is connected to a positive charge source. We'll see if there's a difference. Here's a half turn. And here's another half turn for second trial. Again, the charge leaks over time. And this is maintaining the highest uh, possible voltage and the amount of charge on the pith ball considering all the sharp corners that can leak charge. And here I'm just verifying that the pith balls are free to separate out, that that wasn't what was limiting us. And the ruler shown here can be used to calibrate the length of scale. My hand is obscuring the bottom, but you can still use the centimeter marking. So this setup is another setup where we can estimate the maximum voltage reachable by HV Genicon, being mindful that the additional connected parts may reduce the maximum voltage achievable.